and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky karma. This is a deck that's kind of taking the metagame by storm right now, and it looks really fun to play. We're basically a, a control deck with using the Shadow Isles removal spells. We have Vile Feast, um, Grasp of, of the Undying, and importantly, because we're Shadow Isles, we get Ruination, kill all the units. You know, we get Wrath of God. So, you know, like we're a control deck um, that's just trying to play a long game, use Ruination, um, and then just, you know, some other uh, removal spells like I showed. And then, um, and since we're playing a slower control deck, we do need card advantage. And Karma gives us that card advantage, giving us a random spell in hand at the end of every round. So we're going to be... Uh, Using that, of course, Withering Whale also. It's kind of like a little mini rat deal, one damage to each thing and, and heal three. So we're just going to be trying to um, stay alive, use Karma to get some extra cards, um, uh, you know, kind of keep the board clear a little bit, you know, maybe use Ruination to, to Wrath everything. And then whenever Karma whenever karma flips, these removal spells get better. You know, like withering, casting two Withering Whales means it does two damage to everything, gain six life. That's pretty nice. Drain three, three twice from a unit, um, and so on. We also have um, we also have the Death Mark, Dark Water Scourge combo, where Dark Water Scourge is just a good blocker early on as just a five five life linker that can only stay alive for one turn, but that's still a great uh, blocker. But we can set up since we're playing a longer game, we can wait and like wait till we get the combo of Scourge plus Death Mark, or even same thing with Mark of the Isles. We can Mark of the Isles. You know, like a spider that we make from Vile Feast or a Hapless Aristocrat, and then Death Mark and, and use that as removal also. And then our big finisher um, is the Harrowing. So then, you know, at the late game, we're trying to just cast this Harrowing 10 mana, uh, revive the six strongest units that died this game. We've had a few of these cast against us today. This is our uh, big finisher at the top end. Bring back everything. Attack for a lot. All right, it's a spooky Karma deck. So we're going to go play seven games. These are probably going to be pretty long games. We're trying to play a long game, but looks like we got a burn opponent to start with. Playing against some burn. All right, so I definitely don't want... We're going to keep the karma. We're just going to take these things out. Oh, well, there's the combo. So we can have that turn three. If I don't play anything turn one or turn two, turn three, we can play Scourge plus Death Mark. So, oh man, I probably shouldn't play anything turn one or turn two, but then again, Vile Feasting a Teemo is very enticing. But if I do Vile Feast, then, then we don't have combo turn three. We have to wait till turn four to have combo. I think, hmm. I think we can get hit once by a Teemo. I think that's okay. Yeah, Puff Caps is going to be our doom. It could be. Puff Caps could be our doom. All right. Um, so we're going to use this. Grant that thing ephemeral. Grave RNG, thank you so much there, Santa Kitty Dexterity. Gift in the sub out there. Bring in the hype. Our six of the day. They have a different battlefield. All right, so they shot their own um, Teemo so that now we don't get to um, don't get to re remove the ephemeral. Enough! 
Well, this worked out pretty well. Them playing that 3-1 gives us a perfect target for that. I mean, they, we already had the 2-1, I guess. But now they attack with everything. We ephemeral this. And I think we just blocked the two, one of these two threes. Look what you did. Where there is life, there is hope. Well, I, I hope Karma survives. Don't have any protection for Karma right now. Probably their way of killing Karma would be using a Get Excited, and that would cost them... They'd have to play it and discard something else. So there is that. So at least we got rid of two cards. Can we see what they discarded? The house spider. I love it. I'll try anyone. Shadow Assassin. Oh no, puff caps are gonna be our doom. Another day in the field. <clears throat> we have the two two to block the Teemo. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Well, that was a good draw. Withering Whale. I guess this is going to survive damage that does two damage to me. Oh well. Alright, now we'll untap, go harrowing. Their creature can't block. And we'll get six sweet creatures back. Whatever the most, the best things were that died so far. Ugh. I guess they're not that great. Alright, Spooky Karma got the first win. So we do have a good amount of life gain, which is really nice. Hey, Rochian, doing well. Yeah, so like, against against the burn deck, as you saw there, we did have a good amount of life gain. Whether it was like that 5-5 five five that attacked and gained life. Um, the 5 mana drain 3s, you know, we had a couple of those. We have the, the 2 mana drain 1, make a spider. So, you know, like, we're draining a good amount and gaining a good amount of life. Hey, noob loco. Yeah, that was, that was pretty sweet. All right, uh, let's see. What are they doing? They're doing Zed stuff. I'll just get rid of all those. I'm going to keep the Ruination. We can, we can sit back and not play stuff, but I guess we can't play Ruination until turn six anyway, because we can only have the, the three banked mana, so we need stuff before that but this looks like a you know like the elusive the elusive decks you know like a bunch of creatures so it's good to have a ruination against a bunch of creatures Let's move. 
Ow. The order rewards its faithful. yourself to the shadow um i will play my part hold up oh no that did not go well for me not that bad though cuz i used the elixir of iron and now, you know, we can use, like, a, a Grasp of the Undying. That's not too bad. Because if they had the Elixir of Iron, they'd be able to save their Zed from a Grasp. Which I'm hoping they can't. Darn. They can. Embrace the shadow. Lady Elise, where are you? Isn't isn't too good because yeah we get to ruination next turn but they get to attack first. My life will be but I guess by casting these two things, I'm not going to be able to ruination next turn. But like I said, they'd be able to attack first anyway. So saving. Saving ruination for the turn after that is really not a big deal. Looking for a daring escape. No, 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 no. I thought, but maybe it will be. Where are you going? Wow, I love that trade. I love that trade. Get rid of the elusive creature that I couldn't kill anyway. Not not right now, if only. Your path alone. They cannot
So probably bouncing the Omen Hawk. Okay, not bouncing Omen Hawk. But I am still at four. We're gonna need to gain some life. Not too bad. I was. Well, never mind. It is. It is bad. Yeah, it is. Because they just played this again, and that's a lethal attacker. Step lightly. I am the blade. Yeah, never mind. So I guess I should have played the scourge instead of the will of Ionia. The Previous mine. turn. All right, one and one. Yeah, you got me, Zed. Didn't do a very good job with that wrath. It was just kind of a little too much mana. I have the the death mark scourge combo again. It didn't work out for me last time with them having that removal. But I guess that was the game that was the game that we actually won. No, that was the game that we won. Probably not a great chance that they just pass. They're probably playing something. They're probably playing something, right? Honestly, yeah, I, I haven't missed best of three in sideboarding at all with this game, how it's designed. I haven't missed that at all. Stop my combo also. Everybody's killing their own their own things, stopping my combo. I was hoping like that's why I passed originally, is because I was hoping that they would because if I play the scourge right away, it's just really obvious what I'm doing. So I, I passed originally because I was hoping that they would uh you know spend more mana than that, but Ooh, they missed. That is not a common sight. The dark so 
So we know they have a PNZ removal spell. I will play my part. And they did. All right, so we're six and six on cards. No, they have seven. So they're up one card so far. Where there is light. So we're gonna play Karma because then we can have Rekindler bring back Karma. Down to nine. But we have a lot of ways to gain life in hand. We then can do the new. In three turns, these Awakeners are going to be unlocked. I like that. That was a good draw. Join the conflagration. Such naivete. Join the conflagration. Awesome, Rex. Cool. Glad you. Yeah, glad you like the. <clears throat> so I don't really want to bounce Wraith Caller. You know, I have like that with Will of Ionia. I was kind of hoping they were going to do that the other way. There's nothing to fear. Probably isn't going to work. Okay, maybe it will work. Well, I mean, they still got four mana. So, I guess still probably isn't going to work. Oh, it works! Yeah! Alright, Team Mellow. I'll see you around. Attack. All right, back up to 10. Unless they sack. Okay, good. Like, I don't think they're just gonna be playing a ruination. I knew, and now I am. Oh, I shouldn't. All right, lesson learned. Shouldn't have played that early against the deck with cheap removal spells. Should have just waited one more turn before playing those. Until they actually, you know, they're actually 6-6s six instead of T2s. So 
they get all these things. Do I just get the same things? I think I would, right? I think this is just... I get the exact same things except for... I have this creature out right now. Yeah, because it's not like magic, like where you only get the actual creatures. Oh, you can see what you're getting with the Oracle's Eye? I got three of these Karmas, though. Can't attack. Oh, right, because we got... Okay, yeah, because the, the Rekindler gave me a, a Karma. I knew, and now I am. Cool head, steady hand, unwavering heart. Yeah, so yeah, that makes yeah, I missed it too. Well, they only got one of those. You don't get two, your karma did. Such naivete. This was an interesting game. Har harrowings back and forth. This is a pretty interesting game. All right, let's get four random spells. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we'll drain this twice. And there we go. Spooky Karma. Two and one. We need to get on like a. We gotta win like our next like three or so to level up out of gold. Which we're getting there. Yuck. Another three drop and another karma. Shadow Isles is very popular right now. Push back the darkness. Burn away the shadows. Which does make for like the Karma Lux midrange that we talked about. It does make like that that one mana give something tough card better.
Um, but then, yeah, it makes den uh, deny better also. I wish I had one more mana and I could have bounced it. Not seen Heimerdinger Shadow Isles. That could be a good combination. I will play my part. You get the Wrath with Ruination, and and yeah, you get like some some good removal spells. Um. Don't really have a great option. None of these cards are expensive. I guess I'll bounce the Lucian because the Lucian's seen one thing die. Okay, even playing the Ezreal Elnux deck. I'm missing two Ezreals, but I'm I'm about to get a champion with PNZ and it's 50-50 whether it's Teemo or Ezreal. Don't get in my way. So I can play you Ruination this next turn. If I save the mana. It's like not even a great Ruination though. So they get this thing back. They already have another Lucian. <sighs> they would just try getting some more spells with Karma. They just passed. At least it all that mana. Stone Seeds is like the the absolute worst card to get. So I have ten mana. So this would be five, six, seven, eight, so I'd only have two more to protect. Or I could go. Skip block. You can't hecker him on a Heimerdinger board state. No, but you can use you could use the the six drop to bring back Heimerdinger though. That's enticing. Shadow. 
That's enticing. What turn is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So next turn's turn eight. I was thinking about bouncing bouncing karma untap ruination. I'm glad they didn't cast like the rally in response. How about bounce this Hecarim? Makes my life worse. Definitely makes my life worse. Yeah, I could have countered that. I'll just let it happen because my plan is they play they play Hecarim, I play Ruination. But they got two of these things now, though. That's what I was talking about. How my life's worse. It's going to be difficult to beat those two cards. And they have another Lucian in hand? Why do they keep getting all these Lucians in hand? Where do those keep coming from? I have, like, nothing to do, do I? Karma doesn't get me any spells anymore. None of these spells are any good. This is pretty awkward. Where there is life, there is hope. This is really awkward. No. Unfortunately, I don't really get to attack 411 because they just block with their, their Ledros. All right, let's get four random spells. Knowledge screen. Okay, um... I 
because I, I just have two mana left. They still have the mana to rally. Huh. Egg. Did it move? Well, that's true. That's five, three, one. So that's a good call. Yeah, that is true. I was thinking it was just like the three creatures, but that's true. It would be the five creatures. Um, not for a while, Benny Mon. I really like Legends of Runeterra a whole lot, and I wrote about that yesterday. If, if you haven't checked out this new game that's only been out for a month, this game is really, really good. And I wrote about it here. Did, am I? Yeah, okay, I'm getting life from these things. Okay. They're casting a rally? Please do. Yes, cast that rally. Please. Go ahead. Do it. Cast that rally. Cool. This fight is over. That rally doesn't really help them. Like they get to attack with this 4 2 again. Like there's got to be a better use for that card than, than that, right? You'd think. You'd think so at least. Okay. I understand. Really wish we could go upstairs with grasp of the of the undoing. Keep on playing Commander Ledros. I guess I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to have this Blade of Ledros thing happen first. Uh, gross. All right. Well, that means I get to block one of these things, and I don't have lethal. It would have been lethal without that one mana mark. Yeah, I should have I should have let the Ledros ability resolve first and then gain six life. Definitely. So many years, so much Oh, uh, I didn't have I didn't have any mana left to cast Twin Disciples. Like my mana was gone. I'd spent all my mana on casting the spiders and then that other spell. All right, so they basically have a whole bunch of creatures that can't block now.
<laughs> that looks kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to be able to have to save themselves now. Because, of course, we'll just move straight to attacks. They don't. These things can't block. Those things can't block either. And we can make these things lethal with Twin Disciples if we need to. Mark Atrocity? I don't know. What is, what's Mark Atrocity? Deal three to all enemy units. Heal their thing three. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's basically two ways to do it. Either give Karma the attack. Basically, there's two ways to do it. Save one of these things by giving them toughness or give Karma the attack. Giving Karma the attack... Okay, we'll try it this way. The, giving the Karma the attack means that you're better against another life gain spell, but you're going all in on the Karma. So if they have like a Vengeance or you know anything that gets rid of the Karma, we're all in there. Where if we go the toughness route, we'd still have... Um, enough um, we'd still have enough damage but then even if they get rid of the karma we'd still do a little bit of damage but it'd only be three Yeah, yeah, y'all are right. It would be really hard to stop Vengeance. Okay, another Withering Wheel. So I'm glad we went. I'm glad we went the route that we did. Definitely glad we went the route that we did. If we tried to go the toughness, they would just respond, and yeah, that wouldn't have been good enough. All right, Spooky Karma picking out third win number three. Picking up win number three. Oh, man, you really just don't go up very much on these, do you? So we're at 72 out of 100 as far as the actual points go. I think we were like 60. I, I could be wrong, but I think that we we're at like 63 before that game or something. Man, they make it really hard to get out of. Make it hard to level up, it looks like. Or long-term, Aaron. Let's see. Just new hand. I like new hand. All right, so we got the elusive deck. Without a sound.
I'm not expecting this to work, but I really hope it does. No, it doesn't. Do not deny Claim what is ours. I was hoping that would work. The dark beckons. Eyes open. Watch the branches. Thanks, Aaron. So that is just so, so strong. Hey, Aaron, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. So that's 11. I'll just bounce that. Our seventh sub of the day. My plan was to play Karma and then, you know, be able to have Rekindler to be, be able to bring back Karma, but... Alright, come on, give me some removal spells for Zed. Never see me coming. We must make our own path. Removal for Zed? Recall. That's not removal for Zed. Oh, come on, I can't even respond to that? I just can't even respond to that at all. Well. I don't have the stomach for that fight. So where did we drop down to? We were at, what, 76? So 56, so we lost 20 points. with the loss. The Awakener has not been nearly as good in this deck without um, the standalone as it was in the last deck that we were just playing. Yeah, it has it has the five mana removal spells from Shadow Isle. You know, it has the, it has the Wrath with the Ruination, but then it has the five mana ones. 
Um, I'm not sure if like the two mana deal three damage would probably be kind of nice. I'm not sure why we don't have any of those. Yeah, black spear. Yeah, I'm not sure why we don't have any black spears. That would probably be kind of nice. Even though we don't necessarily have creatures die all the time. There we go. I need them to tap out. Yeah, we don't have a ton of creatures to activate Black Spear, but I mean, we're, we're playing stuff like uh, like Mark of the Isles and things like that, even without a, a bunch of creatures. All right, so we'll counter that. They could have another one, but we'll counter the first one. Force them to have another one at least. Which they do. But now maybe they don't have any removal for karma. Because you can only play three of those things. Now it's two of them. And of course I want to play karma right away because even if karma dies, that's what we got rekindler for. That's a good combo. Ionia speaks through me. Yeah, you have changed the channel name to um, be able to be flexible and used with any game. I deal with these can't block things. This could be, um, <laughs> yeah, they have Mark of the Isles, it's not too surprised. So this could be kind of cool. I don't know if this is gonna save me, but you know we did have Karma. So Karma just died and came back, and so now I can play Rekindler and bring back another Karma. So we can have two Karmas. I don't know exactly what that's doing for me, but I just kind of felt like doing that. Making the dead. Thanks, chicken wings. 
Thanks, Tensor. Alright, get a couple more spells. Ugh, these are not good ones. Those were not good spells at all. Shoot that thing. Um, Please, I have jump, jump. Yeah, that's true. I can recall the rekindler. It's definitely true. I could do that. I have the Will of Ionia available if they do have something that I need it available for. Which I hope they don't. really don't like that at all. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. <clears throat> All right, the karmas give me two more spells, and then they they are flipping. The answer lies within. They don't seem like they have more units because they're not playing more units. So they maybe just have a whole bunch of tricks. Which is certainly possible. I'm going for the 1414 life linker. It's also lethal damage. Awesome. Awesome, and we're four and two. All right, we're back up to 76. Okay, so we gained the, t the 20 points back. <clears throat> so maybe it's just either gain 20 or lose 20 if you win or lose. I actually kind of like the max health limit, honestly. I think that that does add some strategy to like where you're putting attackers and blockers and stuff like that. Um, 
I actually like it, and, and you know, so the games don't last you another like five, ten minutes than what they need to, because you just you know have like thirty five life or whatever. I like it. If you could, if you go over twenty, you have a lot more games that would probably end on people milling out. What we're playing Zed. So yeah, I actually like the max health limit. You want to be able to overheal to something trivial like 25. Just just get a little bit more. No, I want to I want to shoot that. I just can't respond. I know a way. I don't think it necessarily push, push, pushes uh, more aggressive play because. A lot of the most popular decks are the slower control decks right now. Anyway. The dark beckons. So they have more conspirators, they don't get to just play another conspirator now. The Yordle here's with me. Without a sound. No, they have the elixir. Uh, darn. It's too late for you. I did not want to. I was hoping they didn't have elixir. No, I want to see that from them. So an elixir doesn't save them now. They could have the, uh, and they could have a deny. That's ten damage coming in right now. Walk softly. My skill is unrivaled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm telling them what I'm doing by playing this Scourge. So our one card trades with their Will of Ionia and the Zed. That's good. 
They have Rally? Good. Not Rally. But it's still going to be difficult to beat. So I could just play Scourge, Scourge, attack for 10. Go to 13. Doesn't doesn't help me too much, but silent as death. Instead I'll go Shadow Assassin Shadow Assassin. Scourge. Alright, never mind, we're dead. All right, GG. Tempo deck got me. All right, do I go back down to 56? Oh, 60, cool, all right. Didn't go quite down as far. Cool. All right, but there we go. There's our seven matches there with Spooky Karma. It was a little slow. Um, and, you know, so we those tempo decks was a little rough. I'm not sure about... I'm honestly not sure about this Scourge Deathmark package. The Scourge Deathmark, Mark of the Isles. I mean, Mark of the Isles is maybe fine, but I kind of wish we had just... Instead, we just had, like, some other creature that actually trades um, early. I'm not sure exactly what creature, but... You know, something else that, you know, is maybe like, you know, trade, draw a card kind of thing. Even maybe something like Solitary Monk when you don't have other creatures really to recall. Or Frenzied Skitter that's just a, a really good defender that slows the game down quite a bit because you play it on their turn and give their creatures minus one, minus zero. Like, maybe, you know, maybe something like that, like those. And then... And then yeah, playing maybe playing Black Spears instead. Like the the death marks just they they weren't reliable. And so some other creature that can block pretty well. Um and Black Spears may be a better thing to do, honestly, than that that package. Um also the Emerald Awakener. Also, just this this card did not feel very good, to be honest. It it was good whenever you had 10 mana and it was enlightened and then it, you play it as a 6-6. Six, six. But at that point, like you've already basically controlled the game and you're going to be winning. Um, so yeah, basically all of these three drops. I kind of wish our early game was different. But Karma was awesome. Um, you know, top end was pretty good. I don't know if... There's some other. Yeah. Maybe there's not another. Me thresh. I don't. Maybe there's just really not another champion that you want in here. So that was kind of my my take on the deck. Um. It felt like. Scourge, Deathmark, Awakener. Well, good against like the hyper hyper aggro decks. Like it feels like there could be better things to be doing than those three cards. Um, but just playing a, a control deck with a sweeper with a karma control deck uh, was pretty sweet. Um, all right, so there we go. So there's um, spooky karma. Those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave some comments. Let me know what you think about. The Scourge, the Death Mark, the Awakener, the Mark of the Isles, like, you know, those four cards. Um, you know, let me know if you think they're underwhelming, like like I was just kind of saying there. And if so, do you got any good ideas? You got any good ideas to what to replace those with? Because playing a control deck with Karma and with Ruination um, is is very enticing. That's something that that uh, I would like to, you know, like they would want to play. But I'm not sure about like this early slash mid game stuff that we have. 
All right, so there we go. So thank you so much for watching some spooky karma and I'll see you for the next video.